my children, I'm going to read you a story today. And one of my favourite stories is Five Minutes Tea by Jill Murphy. The children were having breakfast. This was not a pleasant sight. Mrs. Large took a tray from the cupboard. She set it with a teapot, a milk jug, her favourite cup and a saucer, a plate of marmalade, toast and the leftover cake from yesterday. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. Where are you going with that tray, Mum? asked Dora. To the bathroom, said Mrs. Large. Why? asked the other two children. Because I want five minutes tea from you lot, said Mrs. Large. That's why. Can we come? asked Lester as they trailed up the stairs behind her. No, said Mrs. Large, you can't. What shall we do then? asked Laura. You can play, said Mrs. Large, downstairs by yourselves, and keep an eye on the baby. I'm not a baby, muttered the little one. Mrs. Large ran a deep hot bath. She emptied half a bottle of bath foam into the water, planked on her bath hat and got in. She poured herself a cup of tea and lay back with her eyes closed. It was heaven. Can I play you my tune? asked Lester. Mrs. Large opened one eye. Must you, she asked. I've been practising, said Lester. You told me I can. Can I, please, just for one minute? Go on then, sighed Mrs. Large. So Lester played. He played Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, three and a half times. In came Laura. Can I read you a page from my reading book? she asked. No, Laura, said Mrs. Large. Go on, all of you, off downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura. I heard you like him better than me. It's not fair. Oh, don't be silly, Laura, said Mrs. Large. Go on then, just one page. So Laura read. She read four and a half pages of Little Red Riding Hood. In came the little one with a trunk full of toys. For you, he beamed, flinging them all into the bath. Thank you, dear, said Mrs. Large weakly. Can I see the cartoons in the paper, asked Laura. Can I see the cartoons in the paper, asked Laura. Can I have a cake, asked Lester. Can I get in with you? asked the little one. Mrs. Large groaned. In the end, they all got in. The little one was in such a hurry that he forgot to take off his pyjamas. <laughs> How funny is that? Mrs. Large got out. She dried herself, put on her dressing gown and headed for the door. Where are you going now, Mum? asked Laura. To the kitchen, said Mrs. Large. Why, asked Lester. Because I want five minutes peas from you lot, said Mrs. Large. That's why. And off she went downstairs, where she had three minutes and 45 seconds of tea before they all came to join her.
and that's the end of the story. I hope you really enjoyed that. Thank you.